Getting rid of your old carpets is one of the best ways to update your space. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of yours and prep your floors for whatever goes on next. How to undo with Mike Montgomery at home. It's safe to say my entire living room is outdated, but in today's video, we're going to start with this outdated carpet. To get started, we'll need a few things. First, a wonder bar or a pry tool to remove any of your baseboard trim and carpet tack strip. Next, we'll use a carpet knife or a standard utility knife to cut our carpet into manageable sized pieces. And finally, your choice of a scraper to remove any old glue or adhesive from the concrete foundation. Let's get started. Baseboard trim helps to hold and secure your carpet down to the tack strip, and that's the first thing we need to remove. And I'll be using this tool called a wonder bar and a hammer. Removing baseboard trim is simple, just be careful not to damage the drywall behind it. It's best to pry in a space where there's a two by four stud behind the drywall. And now that our baseboard's gone, we're gonna cut our carpet and pad into manageable size pieces. Like I mentioned earlier, you could also use a standard utility knife for this, but a carpet knife blade is convenient and cuts through this material with ease. When peeling up the old carpet, be careful around the old tack strip. Always make sure and wear the right safety equipment, in this case, glasses and gloves. Then I was able to fold that roll in half and fit it into a 42 gallon contractor trash bag. <sighs> and the cool part is the carpet pad comes out the exact same way. As you can see, there's a decent amount of carpet glue and a little bit of carpet pad left over on my concrete foundation. So we'll have to take care of that later. Be sure to wear gloves and safety glasses whenever you're removing your tack strip, and I'll be using the same wonder bar and hammer as earlier. These carpet tack strips are held down using nails going into the concrete. Removing these does create a void in the concrete, which I'll show you how to patch. For larger rooms or projects, a surface scraper like this does a great job of removing any glue that was holding down the carpet pad. This tool works best if you hold it at about a 45 degree angle with medium pressure downward and forwards. This white surface scraper is best at getting rid of any large clumps of glue or pad left over, which is great if you're going to lay down new carpet and pad or flooring underlayment next. But if you need a perfectly smooth concrete, maybe you're gonna paint it next, then a razor scraper is exactly what you'll need. This scraper has a super sharp replaceable edge that scrapes away any adhesive and leaves you with a perfectly smooth finish. That way you can prime then paint your concrete floors if that's what you want. This premixed concrete patching compound in a tub is great for repairing the tack strip nail holes that we created earlier. Just apply it and squeeze it down to make sure that it adheres well to the existing concrete and then smooth everything out with this tool which is called a concrete honing block. It's basically sandpaper for concrete. Other people call this a rubbing brick, but no matter what you call it, it does a great job of smoothing out this concrete patch and always be sure to wear a dust mask. This concrete repair that comes in a tube is great for any small to medium sized holes in a concrete foundation. When applying, make sure it squeezes into the crack and then smooth it out. And now that you know that, hopefully you feel confident installing whatever floors are going down next. If you'd like to watch another episode of How to Undo with me, Mike Montgomery, you can click right here. And for more in-depth instruction, maybe a flooring tutorial from the Home Depot, you can click right here. I'll leave links down in the description to live streamed Homeowner 101 workshops, also hosted by the Home Depot. And I wanna give one more big thanks for following along for these at home edition episodes. Let us know what you want to see in season two of How to Undo, and we'll see you next time. Bye.